Hi, I'm Weston, I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about the trade we made today for the deadline. Because I decided I'd make a deadline video, but there really isn't anything to talk about. You already know about the Kendall Graven trade, I talked about that the other day, along with the Yumi Garcia trade. The only thing left to do is talk about today's trade, which is uh, rather lackluster. Uh, Astros trade center fielder Miles Straw in exchange for Philip Mayton of the Cleveland Indians, straight up, to my knowledge, and this is just rough. There's no other way to put it. This is just rough. Uh, now, to Mayton's credit, uh, his numbers are a little deceiving. Uh, a bit of a higher ERA, 4.57. He has a really good Sierra. He has a really good expected ERA, at least better than that. A incredible FIP of 3.13. So he's a better pitcher than it leads you to believe, right? ERA, a lot of people completely just want to throw out ERA as a statistic for relievers. I'm not in that camp, but I do think it is important to look at other numbers when, with relievers and also just game logs, ultimately, because that can tell you a lot as well. Because if a reliever has one bad game where they give up, say, four runs, that can completely destroy their ERA and not bring it back down for three or four weeks, whereas if a starter does that, it might only be up for two games and then they can bring it back down, right? <clears throat> So he's not as bad as all that. He has some decent uh, baseball savant rankings. Uh, great whiff, great spin rate for both, for all of his pitches pretty much. Uh, subpar velocity. Uh, all of his pitches are the majority thrown below league average, but not a bad pitcher, right? It's not a bad pitcher to go acquire, right? That's, that's not the part people are upset about. It's the mile straw part. You're trading a center fielder who was really starting to break out, who a lot of people were starting to take notice of, uh, who started to really be pretty darn good, well over 400 OBP since June 1st, to my knowledge, I believe, and you trade him straight up for a middle-of-the-pack reliever, a little bit, little bit above average, right? Now, granted, given how bad our bullpen has been, it's a great improvement. Uh, another positive you can take from it is he's under contract for a while. You get a few years of arbitration so he's not going to be a full free agent for a couple more years so that's a positive right that cool great right great for us but Miles Straw is gone and that sucks because this year he was elite defensively starting to become elite on base guy now the spin if you can make one is that Chaz McCormick is technically if you want to go by WRC plus and by OPS plus a better hitter than Miles Straw Granted, a lot of that heavily lifting is via the home run, but it's still a fact. Chas McCormick also is pretty capable in the outfield. Uh, pretty good DRS numbers, to my knowledge, pretty good UZR numbers, so that's fine. And the other positive you can make is you call up Jake Myers from the Astros AAA affiliate Sugarland. Now, what has he done this year? Um, nothing other than completely tear the minor leagues to shreds. 343 batting average, a 408 OBP with a uh, 598 slugging for a 1006 OPS. Now, a lot of that has helped with the fact that he has hit 17 doubles and 16 home runs. So he is absolutely tearing the minor leagues to shreds. Now, there's no guarantee that he's going to do that at the major league level. There's no guarantee for that. We have... On the other hand, if you want to take the positive route, we've seen some minor league players for the Astros come up and immediately start ripping into shreds. Carlos Correa comes to mind. Um, Jordan Alvarez, obviously. Uh, when he debuted, he basically didn't change a bit. He might have actually gotten better at the major league level. So if that happens, if something like that happens with uh, Myers and he comes up and he's around a 370 on base with a ton of home runs, all right, we're set. I will. I'm good then. But the trade sucks today with the Miles Straw thing getting a mediocre pitcher. Again, no offense to him. Like, he's better than a lot of what we have. It's just really disheartening to see because all of the other teams in baseball, right? You got the Yankees acquiring Gallo and Rizzo. You have the Giants that went out and acquired Bryant. That was a really heartbreaking thing to see Rizzo break up. You have the Red Sox that went out and got Scher or Schwarber and a couple of other guys. The Dodgers went out and got Scherzer and Turner, right? Um, can't think of it. White Sox went out and got uh, Liam Hendricks, and they went out and got Craig Kimbrell, right? All of these other teams that are competing with the Astros are went out and got just great players, right, to vastly improve their team. And the Astros got, since the Graveman trade, 
two middle of the pack relievers, and that's it. And this one debatably made our team worse. Like, again, if Jake Myers comes up and is fantastic, then it didn't make our team worse. And then I will say, not a bad trade. But as of this moment in time, while we haven't seen him, made our team worse at this exact moment because we haven't seen him play at the major league level yet. And that is super disheartening. It, I'm not going to say anything stupid, by the way. I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, the season's over. Now we're now not even going to make it past the first round. I'm not going to say that. Don't be ridiculous to that extent. I think we're still going to make the playoffs, obviously. I think we still have a shot at making a good run of it. I'm not sure how our World Series chances do after this. But I don't think this just turns us into a bottom feeder among playoff teams. I still think we are solid overall. But this was a rough day trade-wise for the Astros. So that is all I have to say. I'll be back tonight late after the Giants game to talk about the recap and maybe discuss some debuts for the Astros, depending on uh, if Yimmy Garcia, if uh, maybe Graveman play. That'd be neat to see those guys. And I'll be here after that. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.